In the vast sea, we come across many weird looking creatures, and the axolot is no exception. With a cordial tail fin, external feather gills, and four legs, these unusual looking aquatic creature also goes by the name the Mexican walking fish. Although they are not fishes but amphibians, just as frogs and salamanders. While most amphibians grow out of the aquatic phase, Taxalot largely retains its larval characters and spends its adult life in the water. It does, however, get bigger up to a foot long. In the wild, they are found in the lakes of Mexico as well as the canals and waterways of Mexico City. Although they are almost completely extinct in the wild, with just about 50 to 1000 left, However, in captivity, they are as many as 1 million worldwide. For their unique looks and surprising capabilities has caught the attention of many pet owners. One such capability which is also seen as a superpower is the ability to regenerate multiple body parts that it loses, including its limbs and internal organs such as the brain, lungs and even heart. What's more, an axolot can continue to regenerate throughout its life. In addition to being able to regrow body parts, axolot can accept organs and limbs transplanted from other axolots without risk of rejection, a trait that makes them of interest for medical research. Another interesting thing about the axolot is their name. Axolots were named after Zolot, the Aztec god of fire and lightning, who could take on the form of a salamander to hide in disguise. Speaking of its appearance, other than the unusual looks, most axolots are black or molted brown, but there are also varieties with white skin and pink or red gills. Lately, there has been a boom in people wanting to keep axolots as pets, and it just makes sense. For not only do they have such unique looks with four legs and external feather gills, along with the ability to regrow lost limbs and organs, they are also neotenic creatures, which means they will look like babies throughout their whole life. For a pet owner, they are relatively easy to care for and hardy, which makes them suitable for beginner pet owners, plus their dietary needs are fairly straightforward. Axolots aren't particularly social animals and don't require any tank companions. In fact, they should not be kept with other species as axolots might try to eat pet fish and the fishes sometimes nip at them as well. You even should be cautious about housing them with other axolots. Juvenile axolots can be cannibalistic towards one another, so they are best raised in separate enclosures. These creatures still date continue to fascinate people as well as scientists around the world. Hope you found this video useful, many more amazing animals videos on this channel. Hit the subscribe button to stay tuned.